yarn sensation. Just click on my yarn lady or click the subscribe button. We'll make two individual heart. Start with the color that you desire. You want to start with a slip knot. You want to chain two, one, two. You will place two single crochets in the second chain from your hook. You will chain one, turn your work. You want to place one single crochet into your first single crochet, two single crochets into your last single crochet. You want to chain one, turn your work you will place two single crochets into your first single crochet one single crochet into the next and two single crochets into your last single crochet you want to chain one turn your work you will place two single crochets into that first single crochet, one single crochet in the next, one single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, and two single crochets into the last. You want to chain one, turn your work. You will place two single crochets into that first stitch, one single crochet into the next, 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 and two into that last single crochet. You want to chain one, turn your work, two single crochets into the first, one single crochet into the next, one single crochet in each stitch across to your last stitch where you'll be placing two single crochets. Once you get to the last stitch, place two single crochets. Once you reach the end of the row, chain one, turn your work. You want to place two single crochets into that first stitch. You'll place one single crochet in each stitch across and you'll place two single crochets into that last stitch. And we will meet back at the end. I am at the end, completing my last two single crochets you want to chain one you want to place one single crochet into that first stitch and then you'll place one single crochet in each stitch across and you want to repeat that row two more times and we will meet back next row we will start closing our heart or changing this into a heart so you want to complete a single crochet decrease over the first two stitches place your hook into that first stitch pull up a loop place your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop you will have three loops on the hook pull your hook through those three loops one single crochet made single crochet in the next stitch that will be two single crochet into the next that will be three single crochet into the next that will be four single crochet into the next that will be five 
when you get to the next stitch you will not complete a single crochet there you will be reaching into the stitch below that to complete a slip stitch so reach your hook into the stitch below pull up a loop and pull it through the loop on your hook you want to place a single crochet into the next stitch that will be one single crochet into the next two single crochet into the next three single crochet into the next four and you will complete a decrease over the last two stitches and that will make five single crochets you want to chain one turn your work you want to complete a decrease over the next two stitches. You want to place a single crochet into the next stitch. That will be two single crochets. And a single crochet into the next stitch. That will be three. Place your hook in the stitch below. Pull up a loop. And pull that loop through your loop on your hook to place a single crochet in the next stitch that will be one next you will complete a decrease over the next two stitches that will be two single crochets and a decrease over the last two stitches and that will be three you want to chain one your heart is complete you want to cut your yarn, weave your tail into the wrong side of your work, and also weave in this bottom tail. Once you do that, you want to follow the same steps and complete your second heart, and we will meet back. Okay, making sure that you have your right side together. Start by Placing that yarn needle in there, both sides, pull your yarn through, go back through the same stitch, pull your yarn through, go through that loop to make sure that it is secure, and you want to use the back loops only to join this front side and then to the back side, you want to use the front loop of that. You're basically trying to stitch on the inside of your heart. You do not want to stitch on the back side because your yarn color will show through whatever color you're using. All the way around, last four rows, one, two, three, four, you want to stop stitching and we will meet back at that point. Okay, this is the wrong side. Make sure all your tails have been weaved into your work. Using this little opening, you want to turn your work. Next thing you want to do is create your chain. You want to chain 24. Thank you. 